It's that time again and trust me to bring you the juiciest of juices, freshly squeezed to your table. I know, I try my best to keep you happy, but you can thank me later. But before you thank me, let me gist you. Guess who is in the news again? Apostle Suleiman and the infamous Stephanie Otobo. So, now the reason I say everything actually happened the way God wanted to happen, that this is how God wanted before. Me not care about anybody. Let me jog your memory for a bit. In the year 2017, Stephanie Otobo and Apostle Suleiman had a sex scandal that came to light where she dragged him all over the net claiming to have been in a sexual relationship with the man of God. And then in 2018, she came out to say she was paid to defame the Apostle. Now in 2022, she's out again and this time with a lot of receipts and Jesus Christ, they are graphic. Hey! Now the new reason for dragging this man of God is that he wanted to kill her, poison her in fact. And she even said that when she wanted to come to Nigeria to feature on Timaya's song, he carried police to arrest her. Okay, oh. no one, Stephanie. No one. Like the last time, we've heard you. But why are you always contradicting yourself? I thought you said they paid you to defame him. I bet the money has finished, that's why you're back. <laughs> Okay now, now that you have resumed the subject, what should we do? Should we be expecting another video again saying they've paid you? Auntie, please chill, you sleep with man of God, it's not the first time. Everybody raised a beg. Anyways, who is threatening Elon Musk? Proud owner of Twitter tweeted recently that if he dies under mysterious circumstances, it's been nice knowing us, in his words actually. It is mother's reply for me, it's giving Nigerian mother vibes, but wait, so let's leave the mother's reply out for like a bit. This thing is serious though. Like why would he tweet something that delicate? This is too expensive, but then he can afford it, you know? <laughs> if you know, you know. But hmm, it can also still be cruise, come to think of it. You know, as far he's the advocate of free speech on Twitter. Maybe he's just testing how it works, who knows? Moving on from all of that, what is going on with Genevieve Naji? As of the 9th of May, she deleted all her Instagram pictures and prior to deleting her pictures, she unfollowed everyone on the app. As if that was not enough, she even shared a post on her Instagram stories which was described as quite disturbing where she shared a Muslim prayer mat and the Quran, then quoted a text from the Quran, this is not real, it is just a dream, every soul would taste death. Pray before you are prayed upon. Um, uh, what's going on? This world is too strong. No one seems to be talking about it enough. Hm. I just hope all is well, though. I just hope so. You guys, please check on your celebrity friends. Or just check on your friends in general because people are going through stuff. Anyways, that's all I can give you on this gist segment. Until next time, I'm going to give you on the platter of gold amazing, amazing gist. But you know what you have to do, just subscribe, like and share. Thank you.